Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, kindly consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And thank you so, so much for always coming back to watch my videos. I love you so, so much. Thank you so much for the support. And I believe you're doing good. I'm good here. And I'm back again with a very interesting video that you don't have to miss. Remember, today is on a Wednesday. It's a student's Wednesday. It's a student caller and that's why as you can see on your description box and on your title we have a very amazing topic that we want to discuss because we want each and every one of you to score straight straight A's as we said in the beginning. So guys, before we continue, ensure you hit that subscribe button, you give me a thumbs up, you comment down below, you share the video, and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so that whenever we have a new video, you get notified. As you can see here, we have my boy, but I don't know if we are going to write today, but if we have to, we will. Um... I'm ready. I'm always ready to teach you. I'm always ready to teach you. And uh, be sure you ask the questions that you want to see on this channel down on the comment section. Uh, say anything you want to see on this channel on the comment section and I'll be able to deal with it and I'll be able to train you so that you can be able to understand anything that you need. On today's video, I want to give you like a KCC prediction on mathematics, a very, very straight prediction that I'm 100% sure you won't miss there. I'm not too going to give it categorically like paper 1, paper 2. I'm going to give in general, but we will go into details on the next video if you want to see into details divided into paper 1 and 2 on the next video. Kindly comment down below and give me a thumbs up and tell me I want to see that. But for today, I'm just going to guide you on what you should do and on the topics that you have to expect and it will never miss and guide you on what you have to do so that whenever that exam comes, you'll be able to get straight, straight A's without having to struggle. For today, we are going to start with mathematics, but you can be able to comment on the comment section on the other subject that you want to see on the next Wednesday so that I can work on it before that. So going straight to the point, I want to tell you the topics that we'll never miss. And to tell you the truth, guys, you want to get an A in mathematics, you have to know the tricks. First of all, just to remind you, and if you have not watched our previous videos, I'll link the links down below so that you can be able to, uh, to watch them and be on the same line with us. The first thing we say is to divide your paper on different points so that the teacher can be able to follow your procedure without having any problem the second thing we say is to read and understand the question and then analyze the question so that whenever you write you can be able to even do the mathematics without looking at the paper you have the analysis because you cannot tell me that your mind works like a computer that you can be able to capture all that you need to analyze so that it becomes easy for you to understand that's the second step the third step you need to know how to work out your paper here you have your paper you need to start with i always advise on the section b because i understand many people including myself when i was there you find that the time limit is so short that you're not able to complete all the the whole paper i mean so ensure that you start with the section b i understand that it's a section that have 50 marks uh the same as the first section but the best thing about the section b is you have to do only five sums that will give you the 50 marks unlike the section a where you have to do like 20, 10 15 uh, 16 around there to be able to earn 50 marks or more than that so i advise you to always start with section b so that you can be able to get enough time to work on that because when you get a 15 section b you only need like 20 on section a to get an a so you start with section b i want to tell you the five months that will never miss on that paper so that you can be able you can be sure of 50 in paper one and 50 in paper two so that we can now afterwards come on the topics on the section a that will come and you can be able to 
hack that through because before that guys and sure you give me a thumbs up a like a share comment and subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so that whenever we have a new video you get notified so guys the first thing and i'm a very big fan of those maths distance and i'm going to train you on how you do this as it's a very very simple topics but i know that many people do not hack it through i'm going to train it to you next time if you want to see that ensure that you leave a comment down below so that i can be able to see distance this is the math that we're going to be going to a car started on point a going to point b another car started from point b going to point a or both going the same direction zile zenye unambo when they are going to the same direction you have to add this uh, to minus the speed but when coming from different direction you have to minus to add the speed because mukikutana na mtu you will have uh, the speed will be so fast and like mtu wako mbele you are trying to catch up with her umpite so distance ensure that you can be able to do distance without having any problem aki true to the word you will never miss that sum if not on section b mostly on section b but if you don't find it on section b be 100% sure that you are going to find it on section a without having to miss distance mark that that will be ever be there so ensure that you get that 10 marks without having to struggle it's very easy i'm going to show you on the next video i'm going to do the second thing that i want to tell you is about the volume volume and surface area ensure that you understand volume and surface area very well you can be brought something like a cone you can be brought a frustrum a cube cuboid or something but ensure that you understand volume and surface and it's very simple because volume you just have length times width times height but for surface area, surface area you need to understand that's for a cube or a cuboid but for surface area you need to get the surfaces top bottom side side front back and so on for a cone you need to get the whole surface including the kifuniko or the car bottom and for the volume you just need to get the circle circumference of the uh, the area of the circle then multiply by the height so uh, that's very simple you don't have to miss that so i've given you two sums if you want to see any other topic you don't understand any of the topic comment down below and i'll be able to do that as soon as i can the third thing i want you to get and it's very 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 simple again it's about statistics mean median and mode you never miss that some be it on people one people two i'm not categorizing them right now but um we'll do that on a sample paper so that we can be able to understand we'll never miss statistic mean mode and median you know mean it's the mean grade like we have five people who have 20 30 40 you add and then you divide mode it's the katikat uh, mode the one that is repeating itself so much times uh so many times i mean and median is the katikati one so you need to understand that very well you will never miss it either in section b or section a understand that very well and another thing before i forget the topic that it's very easy to hack through graphs ensure that you can be able to do graphs and most of the cases you will find at least two on your papers you'll find at least two or three on your papers i'm sure that you can be able to hack through graphs and it's very simple you just need to understand the x-axis the y-axis and the scale nothing more nothing <coughs> sorry nothing more you need to know another thing i want you to understand is the angles it's very easy to hack through angles and you'll never miss that sum you can be able to get you can get a big circle who has which has a lot of angles inside there and the only thing you need to understand is angle properties uh, like uh, angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees a right angle triangle 180 degrees and there is a 90 degrees angle alternative angles directly opposite angles and such things so it's very easy ensure that you understand that that one again will never ever miss on your papers it will never miss mostly on the 10 marks sum so guys i think those one you can be able to hack through uh let me give you a bit of tricks on paper one uh not paper one actually section a that you will never miss ensure that you know how to use your logarithm well that one will never miss quadratic equations that one will never miss again um algebra again you never miss you will have to get that one expansion will never miss you have to get that one 
and uh, there are, I know you do you know the ones that you know, like somebody is this age after after time some time at like, two times the age that one they are very tricky but very simple <coughs> questions to hack through ensure that you are able to get that without having any problem do as many as you can so that you can be able to understand it will become easy for you to get it another thing that never misses is the integration and differentiation mostly you never miss one it's a topic at uh, the end of the form for book you never miss one even if it's like a small one or like a big one ensure that you hack that well probability ensure that you know probability it's easy to hack probability just ensure that you know if it's one over ten the remaining is nine over ten so that you can have ten over ten which is one it's easy to understand that one ensure that you get that one and i'll continue giving you tips as we go on because i know that it's it's easy to pass but at again again if you don't practice it's not that easy too as we continue i'll give you more and more tips if you want to see anything or want more tips on this channel ensure that you give me a thumbs up you like you share you comment you subscribe and you turn on the post notification bell so that whenever you have a new video You'll be the number one to get notified, guys. So, guys, I don't think I have much to do. Ensure that to give me a subscription. Just hit that subscribe button. It won't hurt you. It's absolutely free. You are not going to be charged anything. And I really, really appreciate so that I can be able to do more and more content for you. Ensure that you leave a comment down below on the next thing you want to see on Student Wednesday. And I'll be grand to do that for you, guys. So guys, I don't have much to say. Let me see you on the next video.